All big screen TVs. Ted bought one and saved $615 on his big screen TV purchase. What was the cost of Ted's TV before the discount? So I'll read that one more time. Big Ed's Electronics offered 30% off all big screen TVs. Ted bought one and saved $615 on his big screen TV purchase. What was the cost of Ted's TV before the discount? So if you've been following our new videos here, you'll see that we just talked about the skill concept of this word problem. But again, as we start with every word problem in the Get Your GED Noun Test Preparation Series, step one is we always want to identify the question. And step two is we want to state your path or our path in this case. So the first thing you want to do with any GED math word problem is you want to go exactly to the question. And the question was, what was the cost before the discount? So what we're looking for is the original cost of the TV. This is a very important step because a lot of times what happens is students get trapped in the middle of a problem and they start trying to figure out well, what do I know or what don't I know and they lose uh, they lose connection with what the question is actually even asking and, and oftentimes they end up answering a different question. So you got to start with the question and if you get to get your GED now test preparation series you'll see uh, this method further explained and I'm uh, explaining it here. But let's move on. Then the next step is to state your path, and which simply means pull the information out of the problem. Don't try to solve anything yet. Don't try to figure this problem out yet. Just begin to pull pieces of information out of the problem. So we know that uh, there was a 30% off. That's one piece of information we have. We know that Ted saved $615. And then we know that we're looking for the cost of the TV. So now we know that this is a percent problem. It has a percent in it, so that leads us to knowing that it's a percent problem. And we know that 30% off was the savings, and we know that the dollar amount of that savings was 615. So remember, every percent problem has a part, a rate, and a base. So if we can identify which two of these pieces we have, then we can go ahead and find that third piece which is going to be what the question is. So we always know the rate because it has the percent sign next to it, so that's going to be the rate. And now we have to determine, do we have here in 615 the part or the base? Well, in this case, we know we have the part. Why? Because the base is the cost or what this whole number is based upon. So we know that we're looking for the base. And we know that we have 4% formulas. So if you've been following our channel here, you know that what those 4% formulas are. I'm just going to cover one right here, which is part divided by rate equals base. So we have the part, 615. We have the rate, 30%. Now the thing we have to be very careful of here is that 30% is not a number, so we have to convert this percent to its number form drop the percent sign, move the decimal place two spaces to the left, and so 615 divided by 0.30 is going to give us our base. Just to save time, I've already done the math ahead of time, that gives us $2,050. So the original cost of the TV is $2,050, and add got 30% off and he saved, or sorry, Ted got 30% off and he saved $615 on his purchase. But again, because we started with the question, we knew exactly what we were going for. So then as we move to step two and begin to state our path, and, and again, stating your path is not figuring out anything, it's just simply pulling out the pieces of information out of the question. Again, with the Get Your GED Now test preparation series, you will learn how to do both the percent skill and you'll also learn this method of how to interpret GED math word problems, whether it's a 
text problem, whether it's a graph problem, whether it's a picture problem, whether it's a table problem. We can show you how to systematically work through this method and solve these word problems. Because in the end, this is what causes students to fail the test. Not because they can't divide 615 by 0 0.30, but simply because they cannot take that text or that picture or that graph and interpret that information to get back down to the skill. We've helped thousands of students move from not being able to do this to actually being able to do this to passing the GED test and getting on with the rest of their life. You can visit us at www.mygedlive.com and find out how we can help you pass the GED test and get on with the rest of your life. Thank you. Thank you.